the water you are seeing here flowing, or rather this river, did not exist before. We came to this particular ground in 2014 July. We have been parking here, we have been doing everything. As you can see in the other videos, this place was intact. But uh, like one, one year ago, I decided to, we decided as a church that we want to establish a bigger church that can accommodate slightly 20,000 people or so. And therefore we started the foundation from this part of, uh, of the parking where we park our vehicles. Uh, basi lazimi vile mnavyoona leo uh, tumeanza kurasmi kwa utukufu wa Mungu uh, kuzindua mradi huu wa kuchenga kanisa kubwa tunategemea kuchenga kanisa kubwa kuliko ile tuliyonayo kwa sasa tunaomba mtuombe na wale walio na mapenzi mema wangependa kutupa msaada uh, unaweza ukatuma msaada wako wa madhabahu hii kubwa uh, kupitia kwa namba ambayo unaiona kwa screen and as we were digging the foundation, the, the Lord told me to go deeper. And as I went deeper, the water started. The, the water you are seeing here started flowing. And then I thought it was, it, it was going to flow from, let's say, one, one week or so, and then it will dry up. But until now, almost two years, it has never dried up. It has never reduced even in a dry season. I started asking God what exactly this was. Because it has turned to be a river. It was just water flowing, but eventually it became a river where there was no river. Now we have another, another river that is going to be added to, to, ben, to the many rivers of Kisi County. Because it has been flowing like this for over for over one one and a half years all the water you are seeing run downstream is a new stream that we have to work on uh, part of the source of this water is coming from this side and the other source of the same water is coming from uh, this other side but the entire place at no water, as you will be shown in other videos. Uh, but when we started digging this place, and uh, we did not know very well that it was rocky, this water started coming, and it has been flowing. And you know, being church that is uh, led by revelation, we must inquire from the Lord the meaning of this, because we thought it could dry up. And there's no signs to a driver that it will dry up. It has become a river. Then the Lord told me that this water will be used for the healing of nations. As you see it, I have to work it in a way to ensure that this water, whose source is only known by God, must be worked very well for the healing of nations. And when the Lord spoke to me about that, then I started asking myself, how will it heal the nations? What will it be for? Because so many people came with advice. You know, this water is so clean. And actually, I can tell you, this water is so clean and so pure. Nowadays, people fetch from here uh, to drink in their houses. It's so pure, so clean, and direct from the, uh, the, the rock. So I thought, like, uh, I can make too much money out of this. But recently, as I was praying, the Lord told me, I should never try to sell water or anything that is anointed. I must base my ministry in, in, in Matthew 10, verse 8. Everything that he has given me is free, and I must give it free. The water you are seeing here, which started a year ago, actually this river, I now call it the, the Embassy River of Healing. It's a powerful place, and uh, soon we will open it for the nations. But for now, we are using it for our church members. Every time they come for service on Saturday, you see them queuing here to get water, and on Sunday, they queue here, even on Wednesday service. And they have given testimonies on how this water has healed them. And then the Lord told me that this year, I must make it clear for the nations that there's a river 
they can come and fetch freely. You see, this is not the first time that God is using water. I am aware that there are many ministers of God who sell water. I, may no, I might not know where the source of that water is. But as per this, God gave me an illustration of uh, Jordan where Nahaman was healed. He gave me an illustration of Siloam and the bull of Pethesida. Then he told me everything that was happening there was free for the nations and for his people. And then he told me this water must be given freely to the people at no cost at all. My duty is to come, make a prayer and a declaration that this water will begin healing the nations and the work of the people that are sick and the crippled and every kind of person that has a problem will come by himself, fetch for their own consumption. They will have to get the water from here, take it back home, and it will uh, bring healing of families. It will bring healing of nations. And this information, the, the other day, when I had a, a leaders meeting, the Lord told me, if you want to see that this water is healing the nations, go and pick part of it. So I sent one of my ministers to come here with a portal. He picked the water from here. I took it to church. And I was sprinkling it to the leaders. I saw a lot of demons leave. There was too much manifestation. And therefore, I, I concluded that this water indeed carries a lot of power to heal every kind of disease, even those who are suffering from HIV AIDS. And you may not want to be explaining that to a pastor or maybe uh, put it on screen like I was HIV positive. Just come secretly like somebody going to the pool of Bethesda. Fetch the water. Drink by your faith. Drink. It's water for drinking. Drink by your faith. And everything will be okay with you. Therefore, I'm making this call to the nations, and particularly the nation of Kenya. We have a new river, the Embassy Healing River. This Embassy Healing River is here for you. The water is here. It, I mean, I do not have the authority over this river. I don't have the power over, over who produces rivers, who controls rivers. But God asks, I, I remember in the Garden of Eden, after God completing whatever he was doing, he had to put there two rivers. One was Tigris, another one was Euphrates. And when I, 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 I was erecting this, I saw something unique because water came from two sources. One from uh, directly, as you are seeing, another one from my right hand side. And those two rivers were taking the water to one direction. The direction you are seeing here. And this, there is enough water for the healing of the nation of Kenya and the, the nations of East Africa. And because it does not dry up, I believe a well taken care of it can serve the entire continent of Africa. It's very difficult for many people to understand this. Very difficult for many people to believe that this can happen. But I tell you, and I am telling you, get your time come to Kisi town and uh, tell your members, tell them, we are going to work on a plan to see how we can take care of uh, uh, people that are coming for this water. And probably uh, in the next one month, we will make it open for the entire nation of Kenya to come and, and get this healing water. Nobody knows the seed of this water. You know, for everything to grow or to exist, there must be some kind of seed. But this water, we don't know the seed, just like we don't know the seed of any other water. It is not a borehole. It is not a well that you can say, we dug a well. We were just laying a foundation one year ago. And then water came out. And the water has been coming constantly, consistently. And times when it is so dry, you think it can, it, it, it's going to, to dry up. It never dries up. In, in any case... It keeps increasing. The other day, I, I came to check on this water. I saw, you see, all, all these things you are seeing here. There are frogs and all that. And they are, they are in their thousands. Uh, I, I don't know whether the camera can be able to show you. Uh, the movement here. These are, these are, are, are 
are young frogs and they are, they are there in big numbers. Then I asked why there are other rivers next to where I am, but there are no frogs at all. Then God told me that this is a sign that this water carries life. It's a sign that there is life in this water. And that's why there are so many uh, frogs just to be a reflection and to, to explain the life in this water. So this is a life-giving water. I want to welcome everybody in Kenya. If you are sick, anybody sick, just come. Come and carry for them this water. Uh, it's going to help you, uh, help your family. It will help a lot of things. And one final thing I want to tell you about this water is that the devil has no capacity whatsoever where this water is involved. As the water keeps flowing, everything in your life will flow. And the devil will never, never stop you from, uh, he will never have capacity to stop anything from flowing in your life. Finances will flow, uh, your, your family joy will flow, whatever that is not working in your life, you can be able to activate it to work once again. So I welcome you, uh, people of the nation of Kenya, those who believe in this, people of the nation of Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, Congo, uh, Southern Sudan, South Africa, Zambia, and other nations which are closer to Kenya, you're welcome to Kisi. We are willing to accommodate you. And this water you are going to get from here is for free. Even ministers who believe in the revelation of water, instead of purchasing water from areas you don't understand, come and fetch water for free, and it will heal your church. It will change the destiny of your church. Pick water that you know. Pick it by yourself. Don't buy anything that you don't know whether it is mixed with what. Just go to the source of the river and fetch it for yourself. God bless you and uh, keep tuned to our, our, our channel because very soon we will open this water for everybody in our nation. God bless you.